guys, it's Tomatoda, and today I'm going to be putting polymer clay canes on my nails! Wow. So if you see here, I have a lot of different types of clay canes from the past, and these are kind of like rejects. Like, they weren't good enough to sell, but they weren't bad enough to throw away. So I just kept them in here for the possibility that they might come in handy in the future. So like this one, it looks fine in the front, but it's shit in the back. And I was thinking, you know, if I put shakers, you only get to see the front anyways. Well, maybe. So maybe I can like use it in a resin shaker, but that never really happened. This one too. Party in the front, trash in the back. And then I also have these, which are actually not... um not bad these are good ones but they're mine so i kept them because i want some of my stuff too sometimes anyways so i have like small hands which also means i have small nails and on top of that i keep them short because it interferes with the clay so i won't be able to use any of these like medium size to like bigger sized canes i'm gonna have to stick with the small ones now first, what I'm gonna do is take out all the small pieces and separate the very, very small ones. Shit. With, um, fr separate them from the big ones. Man, they spilled over. Clumsy me. I'm gonna weak, weak, weak. I'm gonna weak. This one isn't a cane, but it might as well pass as one. All right, whatever. Fuck it. I want to take this opportunity to say that I am not a nail expert. I have watched like some videos on Instagram and on YouTube, but that really doesn't qualify me in any way. So don't judge my nail expertise i'm just gonna kind of like wing it i guess i should just stick with the really 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 small ones like these tiny babies this just takes up my whole fucking nail man whoa there it is i'm gonna bring out some of these babies to mario these are a little bit more precious to me Oh, there's a Gudetama. Then I think I should maybe um, separate these into colors. So like, kind of have like different colors on each nail instead of just random randomness. Hmm, yes. So here are the five different groups for each of my fingers. So I'm gonna actually now pick out the best of the best because I don't need like... 50 coochie pachis on my freaking finger. Or do I? It's time to sand them down. Taking double-sided tape. Because my nails, well, I think normally everyone's nails are curved. I'm gonna curve the back side of these. So I'm gonna stick it just for easier access. And these are super thick because they... They were attempted beads that didn't succeed. Let me see if I can cut it thinner. Ooh, it worked. Right. So I got three of these. So I'm gonna use this Melody Susie to sand and stuff. I recently got it from a friend and this is like literally my third time using it, but I really, 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 really like it so far. Before I used to use um, this, but it runs on batteries and the batteries keep dying and I mean, it's running right now, but after a few minutes, it's gonna die on me, so... This, thankfully, has an AC adapter! 
And it comes with different speeds. The dust is actually going to fly around everywhere, so I'm gonna put a... Um, what's this thing called? I'm gonna put um, this, this shit on here. I forgot what it's called. So I can just clean it up easier. And also, I'm going to be putting on my respirator because you don't want to be breathing in all the dust. So what I'm going to do is try to sand this down as thin as possible and also create a slight curve. Let's do it! everything down with some disinfectant wipes and wash these in the sink carefully or else they're gonna fucking fall in Okay, while I let these dry, I'm gonna put on some primer and base coat and all that shebang. Shebang? Shebang. Oops, I don't know. Okay, the base coat is all cured and I wasn't sure what color to use because the slices are all like different colors and I don't have a lot of colors um, for these gel nails so I thought I'd use this one which is like random flower petals. <laughs> I used it once before and it was, it was okay. I bought this, well, I bought everything from AliExpress just in case you guys were wondering. And to be honest, I don't really know the best way to apply this, but I'm just gonna go for it and whew, that is really thick, huh? Just gotta hope for the best. Yikes, I don't think that's how it works. That didn't work out either. Let me try scrap paper. You know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna pick something else. This is too hard. I'm gonna go with this blue. Blue glitter. I know I used it last time, but I really, really like it. It's also, um, it changes colors. So I... I wiped the top with the acetone. I don't know if I'm supposed to. I don't know if that affects the base, but... YOLO! <laughs> That's what one coat looks like. Last time I did two coats, but since majority of my nail is going to be covered with canes, I'm just going to go for one coat. Yeah, so if you see, it's like dark blue, but on my nails, it's light blue. When it's cold, it turns dark blue. And when it's warm, it turns light blue. And my fingers are pretty warm. Isn't it so fun? It is so fun! Alright, one layer has been applied, and I'm gonna cure it under my lamp. 
All right, it's nice and cured. I'm gonna add, should I add one layer first and then put the canes on or should I just, I'm gonna put one layer on first and then cure it and then I'm gonna put the canes on. Hmm, 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 what to do, hmm. It's Cause each layer just makes it really, really thick. And I don't want it to turn out super thick, but then again, it's not like I'm gonna keep these nails on forever. So maybe thick isn't that big of a deal. So, since I don't really have glue, I'm gonna put a layer of this on, and then I'm gonna stick the canes on and flash cure it, and then let's just see how that goes. I am pretty nervous. I don't wanna fuck this up. One, two, three, four. Can I fit one more? Shh, I don't know. <sighs> what am I doing? The curvature that I um, sanded them in is actually fitting my thumb pretty nicely. Fill it up with some of these little beads. Wow! I am confused! Let's flash cure this! Fill in the gaps and then flash cure it one more time. You know, I just had a thought. If I sand it and I sand the beads, they're not gonna look that good, huh? I also kind of wonder if this and UV resin is the same thing. Like, this is just a more expensive version of UV resin. This one will be video game nail. fill it in with this seashell. Ooh, I just noticed there are both Animal Crossing characters. This is the Animal Crossing fingernail. And you know how you can pick up seashells and starfishes or sea stars. Okay, for the pinky, I'm gonna add a kaonashi and then a Sharingan, because they're from the same anime, right? Yeah, I know. I'm an anime master. I am going to do my other hand as well, but first I need to finish this hand. So I'm gonna put some more top coat on until I feel like it's filled in enough. So let's see how many layers it takes for me to adequately fill it up. My nails are already feeling really, really uncomfortable because of the sloppy top coat job. I'm pretty exhausted. Where the hell did that glitter come from? Kind of scared that I'm gonna run out of top coat. I feel like if I do, I might have to just resort to UV resin. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about these little beads after I sand them down and also I wonder if I sand them down, some of the cane's edges might be shaved off completely. 
And the thing is, I still have one more hand to do. All right, I'm gonna start sanding again. I'm gonna use these two drill bits. And wipe this one with the disinfectant wipe. And I'm gonna put my mask back. Yeah, damn. What the hell am I saying? And I'm gonna put my mask back on and then start sanding. That was quite a bit of an ordeal, um, but I actually did manage it and yeah, some parts did get cut off and the little balls, instead of getting grinded, they actually just kind of yeeted off my finger. I'm gonna wipe it off with acetone. And then I'm gonna put the final layer.
I've decided to do a second coat. All right, they're finished. Wow, it actually did work. And I'm actually glad I went with the blue sparkly base. Wow, I, I'm, I'm pretty amazed. Just, wow. I don't know what they look on the camera exactly, but in real life, they look pretty, pretty sick. It looks like, um, just like shit being encased in resin. Wow. Anyways, I'm gonna take a break and then do my other hand, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, I finished my right hand too. It's kind of different from my left one. Yeah, I messed up. It was really hard to do. Like, I thought it would be just a little bit harder, but it was actually super duper harder. But it's done. And also, <laughs> I fucked up on this finger because there was like this thing here that was kind of like bothering me and then i tried to get that out and messed up something else along the way and then i tried to fix that thing and then messed up something else along the way and yeah so this is what it looks like now but overall i'm pretty happy that it actually worked out like this is really cool i think Anyways, thank you guys for watching this nonsense video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Heart, I love you. See you next week. Bye-bye. Thumbnail shot.